Let's go ahead and talk about the Intel Arc A380 graphics card because we have more specifications for it, which means hopefully we can get more info out of it. Let's go ahead and hop in. So this is coming from WCCF Tech. This is a hardware rumor. Intel Arc A380 discrete graphics card to feature 128 EUs clocked at up to 2.4 gigahertz and six gigabytes of GDDR6 memory performance on par with the GTX 1650 Super. Now, here's the big thing that's the difference between the 1650 Super, I think, and this in particular, is the 1650 Super, I thought only had four gigabytes of memory, right? Is that correct? Let me double check before I stuff it in my mouth. My foot in my mouth again. Yeah, four gigabytes with a memory speed of 12 gigabits per second. So uh, I believe it's a 128 bit bus, something like that, or uh, no useful full specs I thought it was memory bandwidth yeah 128 bit bus so the difference is going to be here that we get six gigabytes of VRAM so it would work on Ethereum all right so in a tweet by Tom API SAK there we go the specifications and naming convention of Intel's ARC Alchemist GPU based graphics card lineup have been revealed. It looks like Intel's Arc lineup will utilize the A series branding as previously reported. The numbering scheme identifies the performance tier of each specific graphics card. So just following suit with AMD and Nvidia there. So coming to the specifications, the Intel Arc A380 graphics card will feature the Alchemist XE HPG DG2 GPU with 128 execution units or 1024 ALUs packed with 8 XE cores. The top GPU SKU will come with 512 execution units or 4096 ALUs packed with 32 XE cores. The specific DG2 SKU that's a tongue twister, is going to see a number of variants, but the 8XE core die is the top part. The GPU is fabricated on TSMC's 6 nanometer manufacturing process node and supports some really high clock speeds of 2.45 gigahertz. It is not reported if this is the average boost or max clock, but it definitely comes close to the game frequencies of the AMD Navi 22 and 23 GPUs. The Intel Arc A380 graphics card will also feature 6 gigabytes of GDDR6 memory. The bus interface is not mentioned, but is likely to be 96 bits, as suggested in a leak last month. Since this is most probably the desktop variant, we are going to see 16 gigabyte pin speeds, which will deliver up to 192 gigabytes a second total bandwidth, while the laptop variants will come with 14 gigabits pin speeds for 168 gigabytes of bandwidth total. The A380 graphics card will feature a TDP of 75 watts and is likely we won't see any external pins for power, but there is also a possibility that Intel and its partners trying to squeeze in more power in the card for higher clocks and, and higher performance. So essentially what you see is, I guess, at the end of the day, because they're clocking this down to 96-bit bus, you're still gonna have the memory throughput of 192 like the 1650. The only difference here is I guess we get to see what a 1650 would mine like, presumably, uh, Ethereum specifically. So is the performance gonna be good for mining cryptocurrency on the Intel series? Probably not. I mean, the benefit here is we do have a very low power part, which is kind of the, the, the plus side of it. It'll be fun to play with regardless, but this is one of the smallest memory interfaces I think available, even at the low end graphics cards where usually you see 128 bit, 96 bit, super tiny as far as like bus width. It does look like because of the pin speeds being at 16 gigabits per second, you will get that total bandwidth of the 192 gigabytes per second, just like you would on like a 1650 or something. There's a little bit of, I guess, promise there, but hash rate wise, right? Let's go ahead. We could actually probably calculate this out. Okay. 
what is similar? I think a GTX GTX 1060. Is that right? It's been a while. I have to look this up. I think if we looked at the specifications. Yeah. So the GTX 1060 is 192 gigabytes per second of memory bandwidth. So you're probably looking at the same mining performance of a GTX 1060 at low at lower power consumption. So between 20 and 24 mega hash a second, obviously going to be under 75 watts. So that is the big benefit there. So that'd be my prediction about GTX 1060 six gigabyte mining performance. I believe that's right, right? Because that is GDDR6. Yep, all right, everything checks out as far as that prediction goes. So that's my prediction for the Intel Arc A380 graphics card. I'm gonna say 50 watts. Let's just say 50 watts right off the bat. Boom, done. That's what I think. That's where I'm at right now with this particular one. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to subscribe to see more. Also, you can check out this playlist for more content talking about cryptocurrency.